He died and found out why souls choose Earth. Have you ever wondered why souls choose to embark on the challenging journey to Earth? Join me, Jamie, as we unravel the extraordinary tale of someone who died and discovered the profound reasons behind the soul's decision to incarnate on this earthly pove into the mysteries of the afterlife, where the soul gains insights into the secrets of the universe, experiences boundless love, and encounters celestial beings. Hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay connected with our intrigue. Get ready for a thought-provoking journey that challenges the conventional understanding of life, death, and the soul's purpose. This is a narrative that will leave you questioning the very essence of our existence. Welcome to an odyssey that transcends the boundaries between worlds. Welcome everyone. I am Jamie, and I'm here to share the profound near-death experiences of individuals who have crossed over and glimpsed the mysterious realms beyond. If you find these narratives intriguing, I invite you to express your support by hitting the thumbs up, subscribing, and ringing the bell icons to stay informed about the latest content. Your actions are not only free, but also contribute to the growth of this channel. So settle in, prepare your favorite cup of coffee or tea, and join me as we embark on today's fascinating journeys. My introduction to your channel happened recently when a friend shared a link with me, recalling our conversations about my own near-death experience from years ago. She pointed out certain similarities that she thought I should explore. Listening to that link and several others, it was as if the shared experiences of others confirmed what I had long tried to dismiss. The realization that others had visited the other side served as a validation that my encounter wasn't a mere dream, a conclusion I had only partially believed. In fact, I was so convinced it was nothing more than a dream that I rarely spoke about it, sharing the details only with a select few, including the friend who sent me your link. My own near-death experience unfolded just after I turned the day before my mother had passed away, and as I had no close family, arranging her funeral became solely my responsibility. The sudden stress became overwhelming, particularly since my mother had raised me as a single parent during a time when societal norms frowned upon such circumstances. Those were challenging times for single mothers, and my mother, defying societal expectations, chose to raise me against her parents' wishes. Working tirelessly as a waitress, she provided for me. Her cancer diagnosis at the age of 28 led to her passing by the time I turned 30. Navigating the funeral arrangements alone, coupled with the stress and grief, left me feeling like a complete mess. One night, after a day filled with funeral preparations and financial concerns, I cried myself to sleep, only to awaken later with an intense pain in my chest. Attempting to reach the medicine cabinet, I fell to the floor, losing consciousness. The next moment I opened my eyes, I found myself hovering above my lifeless body. Initially, I observed it with a pained expression, but felt no emotional connection. It was then that I understood this body, much like an outfit we discard. Here surveying my surroundings. I noticed a tunnel above the door leading to the hallway. Uncertain if I entered willingly or was drawn in, I found myself speeding along a tunnel, merging with other luminous orbs of light. Together, we moved towards a distant, radiant light. Fully conscious, I grasped the secrets of the universe, advanced sciences, high-level mathematics, and the entirety of history. Aware that the light was my destination, I recognized it as home the place of origin from which I departed when I chose to come to Earth. Almost every earthly emotion had shed away, akin to a snake shedding unnecessary skin. No anger, no jealousy, no animosity. Only love remained. Even the pain of losing my earthly mother had dissipated. Upon reaching the light, identified as the source, the love I felt expanded, filling me like a balloon. As it continued, I realized I could contain even more. Time lost its significance in the light, where I comprehended the eternity and infinity it symbolized. Her time, a mere earthly illusion, had no place in the realm of the eternal and infinite. Entering into the light, I merged with it, allowing more of my infinite self to blend with the light. I sensed a million other orbs of light doing the same. Abruptly, I was pulled back from the light, finding myself in a vast white room, expansive, empty, and wider than any earthly shade. 
No doors, windows, or discernible boundaries defined this space. My singular yearning was to return to the light. My true home, the room, an expanse without bounds, lacked the pangs of hunger or thirst. I occupied myself by attempting to discern invisible walls and later immersed myself in intricate mathematical calculations. Eventually, an angel manifested. A towering figure, standing at around nine feet, adorned in a flowing, white gown cinched at the waist by a resplendent golden belt. The angel's radiant smile preceded an unexpected inquiry. You again? Bewildered, I queried. What do you mean, me again? The angel disclosed that I had been there before and had willingly chosen to return to Earth, confused. I vehemently denied any recollection of a prior visit. The angel elucidated that souls destined for Earth undergo a deliberate forgetfulness, making Earth one of the most challenging universes to navigate. Why did I choose to go back? I inquired. The angel emphasized the concept of free will, asserting that souls autonomously decide their destinations and purposes. No soul is coerced into leaving, and my decision to return was entirely my... The angel presented a contract I had signed before my earthly journey, outlining my predetermined objectives. Upon scrutiny, I realized I had fallen short of fulfilling all the stipulated goals, clutching the document. I recollected my desire to visit Earth and faintly remembered expressing a wish to return. I had chosen to return to Earth without conscious awareness, convinced that it would be easier to accomplish my designated tasks if I remained oblivious to my true home's absence. Explaining why a soul selects Earth was likened to being a soldier. One may not relish going to war, yet it is a badge of honor. Similarly, a life on Earth, where a soul achieves its goals, is analogous. I instantaneously knew that I wanted to try again, returning to Earth with the memory of my home intact. Though I did not retain the secrets of the universe, the awareness of the existence of the light and my connection to it endured. Upon awakening on the floor, my body felt alien and the chest pains were supplanted by a tripled grief. My yearning was not only for my mother, but also for the light. Profound depression settled in, impinging on my ability to eat sleep while the depression eventually waned. I grappled with doubts about whether the afterlife vision was merely a dream. Some friends dismissed it as such, attributing it to a head injury. Only one friend suggested it might be a near-death experience, leading to now convinced of its reality, I find solace in knowing that my mother has transitioned to a sublime place. Though I yearned for a life review during my afterlife experiences, I somewhat recall the challenges I am endeavoring to conquer in this life. These challenges are deeply personal, and I prefer not to divulge them openly. This email evolved into a comprehensive account to ensure that I captured as many memories as possible. The telepathic exchange with the angel has been paraphrased from decades-old recollections, and as such, the exact wording may vary. Blessings to you and your loved and thus concludes today's immersive experience. Feel free to share your reflections in the comment section below. Until our next encounter, stay safe and be blessed.